When you first start a new QGIS project, you have a blank canvas and a default coordinate system. So if I look up here in the Project Properties section, I can then look at my general information and there's a CRS, a coordinate reference system selection that opens this panel that lists the current coordinate system, in this case the World Geographic System of 1984, the WGS84, and other coordinate systems that you used recently or that you might use. Now this is the default for my setup. The WGS is a latitude longitude system. And you'll notice over here this thing called this EPSG and then there's a number. These numbers are unique for each specific instance of a coordinate system. So any data that I load is going to be reprojected into this coordinate system from the Jazz Fundamentals textbook that goes along with this uh, set of exercises. You can read about coordinate systems and datums and map projections. It's quite involved and this is just to show you how to manipulate them in QGIS, but you'd need that knowledge to really know what you're doing. In any event, there are various coordinate systems I can choose from, and this is the default. An interesting thing about QGIS is when I first load my first data set, it'll reset that coordinate system. So here's some data I'm going to be loading that are in a UTM, a Universal Transverse Mercator coordinate system. This one centered on Minnesota, more or less. So I'll add that and then close, and you see I have these Minnesota data, and if I now look at the project properties. I'll see that the coordinate system has been changed to this data set coordinate system. That's the project coordinate system. I can verify that's the data set coordinate system by doing a right click here and then looking at the properties for this data set. And I see if I look in the information on the data set, it lists the geometry and the CRS. So this is a polygon coordinate system again in this NAD83 UTM Zone 15 North projected. And this is a different EPSG, a different moniker or name. This is the NID 26915, and that's unique to this coordinate system. The interesting thing is after that, if I load any other data layer that has a defined coordinate system. So here I have some Minnesota counties data in a state plane, another one that's discussed in the text. And we add that and close it is projected to the same coordinate system. It lays right on top of the UTM. If I look at the properties for this data set, this state plane that says, yes, this is in the Minnesota North state plane coordinate system. Um, and if I look, it's going to different EPSG. And if I look back at the project properties, I can see that it still has this UTM coordinate system. It's projecting these data on the fly. So it takes them from that state plane and projects them in a UTM so things line up as they should. They align on top of each other and that combine data sets from different coordinate systems. So there's a project coordinate system, a data coordinate system, and these data coordinate systems can be different and they can be loaded then into a project and they'll get reprojected on the fly. I can combine data. Now, there's no reason I have to have the same project coordinate system sending my data in the uh, coordinate system that I'm <clears throat> showing. That is, I can have something completely different. So I can go to Google Maps Global Mercator coordinate system and apply that to the project. It'll ask me about a datum transformation, what datum transformation do I want to use, because these data are in a different geodetic datum. Again, you have to read the text to know what the difference is between the geographic datum. The source is an NAD83 and the output is WGS84. I'll pick one of the datum transformations I want to use for each of them and apply it and say OK. And then it reprojects these data. Now, they're hardly different unless you can see them side by side. This is rotate a little bit. It's a little wider at the top than it used to be relative to the bottom. But the important point is that these data, this is in UTM, this is in state plane, and the project coordinate system is now a different CRS. It's this Google Maps Global Mercator, a Mercator projection. So it's different from the others. So that's reprojection on the fly and project versus layer coordinates in QGIS 3.